Avast, the huge corporation that owns AVG. They own, well, Avast. They own their secure line VPN, AVG's VPN, their browsers, CCleaner. Uh, well, you've heard them all. I made a video about CCleaner browser. You can check that out. But anyways, <laughs> Avast, did you know that they used to own a subsidiary called JumpShot? which was exposed by PC Mag and Motherboard for selling user data. It's very interesting. So this revelation, basically what happened was their antivirus software would track the data of over 400 million users, repackage it for sale to other companies, and sell it off. And <laughs> not what many would call good security, I agree. So this is how it worked. So Avast would collect their user data through their products. They would repackage it up nice and neat in their company called JumpShot, their subsidiary, and they'd sell it off to companies like Google, Microsoft, TripAdvisor, Home Depot for some reason, <laughs> uh, Pepsi, Yelp. And, and I'd, I'll tell you, you know, it's, it's for, for a company that you're trusting with your internet traffic, if you use their VPNs or your computer, and it's safety and and the activity on your computer the files that you have and everything i i would not want a company that has a history like this and you know even here avast was spying on its users for the last seven years so uh i'm not going to try to spell this name the founder of adblock plus was the first person to sound the alarm in 2019 he posted incriminating information to his blog it detailed uh, expansion of how he claims that Avast was able to transmit data that allows for reconstructing your entire web browsing history and much of your browsing behavior. Essentially, Avast and AVG's online security extensions were recording their users every click, documenting which websites were visited, when, and from where. Which, you know, to think about that, that's scary coming from a company that's meant to be protecting your computer by scanning all of the files you download by monitoring the behavior of every application you use by analyzing the websites you go to to make sure you don't go to one that's malicious etc etc it's very suspicious and and giving a company that much control of over my system personally i would never do it but for the people who do would you really want this kind of company with this kind of past doing it? Now, in the same article, they do have a message up here that says they no longer pose a threat to privacy, meaning they're 100% safe to use. I feel like this is misleading because they may have removed the jump shot tracking and whatnot, but the company still has a history of doing this. So, so would you really trust a company with this kind of history to, to do this? To, to, to just not do it again, just go, oops, sorry, we're done now. I mean, you did it before, what's to stop you from doing it again? It Clearly you've proven that you're comfortable doing it. A company that is scummy enough to do that in the first place is always going to be scummy enough to do that. And I don't believe that it is 100% safe to use. I would never use it. Even if they remove all the tracking and they apologize and they go, oh my god, we're so sorry, I... I would still never trust it because I'm going to look at their past. If, if, if I search up a vast shady in Google and I get a bunch of results like this and I get to learn about jump shot and all this crazy crap, do you really think I'd be trusting them by paying them their absurd prices to get their dumb antiviruses to keep me safe? Even though, you know, antiviruses nowadays are pretty useless. Just use Windows Defender, a good ad block and, you know, common sense, but whatever. It, it, if, point is, is I would not be trusting these companies with that kind of access to my system. And according to this article, apparently Avast defends data harvesting, plans to get users to agree to it. Now, of course, eventually the they did apologize, shut down, jump shot, and say they would improve. But this was from 2020, January 29th. They will explore further changes to its practices of selling users' browser histories to third-party companies, but antivirus vendor will try to opt out uh, more users or opt more users into the data sharing, despite the privacy risks. And they would, you know, give this prompt as my guess. It, in, in, you know, if if their initial reaction to getting caught was like, 
shit, you're right, this is a bad idea, and they take it down, that's a different story, but by the looks of it, they tried to double down, and it back. And the only reason they stopped is because it backfired so bad, and they're only uh, they're only apologizing because they got caught, not because they actually feel bad about this. I mean, they they shouldn't have done it in the first place. Your job, it, what what you're selling to people is security, and and with the sense of VPNs, you're trying to sell them privacy too, right? And 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 instead, what you're doing is you're collecting all their data and selling it off to companies like Google, Microsoft, which if you're using a VPN, you're probably trying to prevent those companies. You're probably trying to stay away from those companies from tracking you. That's the whole point. I would not trust Avast, okay? I, 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 you can do the research, and if you really like their apology and you think it's safe to use, go for it. But with this kind of history, I would not be trusting Avast, and I don't think you should. I'd tell to if you have an argument, you can put it in the comments. But as far as I'm concerned, you will not see me be using any of Avast products anytime soon. I've already ex shown how dumb C Cleaner's browser is. It's just reskinned Chromium with extra bloat, and they just renamed a bunch of crap to make it sound like it's more private. And added their garbage on top of it. Sea Cleaner is a load of horse shit. <laughs> and and I, I mean their their products suck, in my opinion. It's just their products are objectively bad. And the products almost every product I've seen them have, there's either something ten times as better and cheaper out there, or it's something that you can do yourself for free in minutes. And I, I mean, crappy products, shady past, many companies, many subsidiaries like AVG and, you know, Avast and stuff selling basically the same products with a different name. Like, I, I, I don't think, I, I would not trust it uh, because it's all very shady and they, they are known for their very aggressive marketing, their very alar alarming marketing where... They try to get the the person they're marketing to in the mindset of, oh, your PC's insecure. You know, the, a, a lot of people get fake pop ups and messages, you know, from a vast saying like, oh my god, we found all these viruses. Oh no, your computer's screwed unless if you pay us for this product. And I I'm not gonna lie, it's very shady. I would not. I just would not trust it. So it <laughs> point is is do your research on. The companies that you're trusting with this kind of access or this kind of data stay safe out there and use common sense to actually figure out the right ways to keep yourself safe ad blocker common sense windows defender and i mean just 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 be smart don't download random shit off the internet don't click every link you see don't open the random attachment from that one email from a nigerian prince it's not real and just I mean, <laughs> I don't know how there are actually people who will still recommend Avast, like that 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 one article that said it's a hundred percent safe to use. I don't believe it is. Even if they remove the tracking, I'm sure they they are still up to some shady business, and and they are up to some shady business still. Their marketing, whatnot. It's a Avast is a dumpster fire. <laughs> And uh, you you would be better off with something else. So Crossware or well Cape Technologies, you know they've really gone through many different names. Uh, this is unrelated from Avast, but I, f I I didn't want to make a whole video about ExpressVPN being shady, so I'm just gonna do it here real quick. ExpressVPN, private access, uh, private internet access, Zenmate, Cape VPN, and CyberGhost. I would not trust those either because the company that owns Mall is Cape Technologies, and this company has rebranded several dozen times, and, you know, to, to probably to run away from its shady past, because this company was used to be known for its adware and its PUPs and its association with them, and it was a very shady company, shady business. It was in the ad business, and it was, it was just really shady, and now they're trying to go all in on VPNs. I would not trust the, any of these VPNs either, so I, I just felt like it was worth noting on, on, you know, to add on to it. 
uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, consider subscribing, it helps me out. Uh, dislike it if you dislike it. Let me know in the comments what you didn't like about this video and how I can improve in the future. Uh, stay safe out there. Thanks.